behold. Electric bike XP 3.0. 3.0. This was supposed to be in here. Yeah, we're not quite <laughs> sure. We haven't opened it up. They obviously. told us that's what's in here. <laughs> Let's find out. There it is. Oh yeah. They really, I've said this before. I don't want to say that they overpackage these, but they make sure that they make it to you. Well, they are being shipped FedEx and we've had some issues with FedEx, so. FedEx just don't care. <laughs> no, they will cartwheel your boxes just for the fun of it. So here's the charger. About okay. the same size as the old charger. Yeah, it is. Looks pretty similar. You're getting to be really good at that. I can already tell you that it weighs less than the, the premiums. Oh, yeah. Now the X premiums are really nice bikes, but they are heavy. They are heavy. And luckily I have this strapping lad here to lift them around for me. Yep. Zero miles, fully charged. Oh, wow, that's yeah. actually pretty surprising. They will properly warn you in their packaging though. We have one, two, three, four, five, six yellow warnings. You can't say they didn't warn you though. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to ride in a very small space. Oh, geez. <laughs> Got some power. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to have more torque. And there he goes. Oh, there comes Pipe. What do you think, Pipey? When we say that they are packaged really well, this is what we mean. It filled up entirely one of the boxes. I like these new rubber grips. Yeah, they're nice. Nice and uh, comfy. Yeah. Comfy I... cozy. And for a stock seat, it is upgraded versus the 2.0s. Now, we still love our comfort package seats, but we will try these. Yes, we will give these a full <laughs> review, and if we need to, we will be swapping out the comfort seats. We'll give them a fair, a fair shot, see what we think of them. Agree. Overall, I mean, it looks a lot like the 2.0, but I think they look really good. I think they do look good. They actually have some extra touches on them, like where it says, you know, the XP 3.0 and you know the paint job looks really good we always get the white ones so we can't vouch for the black but i'm sure that they would also look very good the 3.0 has what they call passenger compatibility now this is going to be like an upgrade i'm assuming but you get a mini handlebar behind the seat a cushion on the rear rack and foot pegs allow a passenger to comfortably ride along Rear rack is integrated into the frame, making it stronger with an increased carrying capacity of 150 pounds. That rules me out. <laughs> it has a passenger mode and it's been added and it limits the bike's top speed to 10 miles per hour for an added level of protection when a passenger is on the bike. Hmm. The XP 2.0 had a 160 millimeter brake rotor where the 3.0 now has a 180 millimeter brake rotor. One of our, I guess, minor complaints about the 2.0 was the brakes. And they have increased the size of the rotor, so we'll have to see how those work out. The 2.0 had 18 amp controller, and now the 3.0 has a 20 amp controller. The 2.0 had a 500 watt motor at 35 Newton meters of torque. The 3.0 has 500 watts at 55 Newton meters of torque. These are available with a standard or long range internal lithium ion battery which is good for 45 or 65 miles, depending on if you get the standard or long range battery. There's five levels of pedal assist, top speed of 28 miles per hour. These bikes weigh 64 pounds a piece, which sounds like it's a lot, but it's actually very manageable, especially when you fold them up. I think the only thing we have left to do is to take these bad boys out on a camping trip, put them to the test, see what they can do. I'm looking forward to it. It's already fun. <laughs> Thank you.
That was too easy. And we have room to spare. It's a beautiful day to get the bikes out. Yeah, it's a nice day. It's actually getting warmer. I know. I was kind of worried. It was kind of cold. Yeah. But if you look at it, it's fall. <laughs> what do you expect? Weather is all over the place, but we are excited. Test out these 3.0s for the first time. Take these bikes for a ride, see how they do. I like it. Well, that's our review. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> well, he's already gonna put this to the test. Think it's gonna do it? Yeah, I think it'll do it. <laughs> oh, Coming down, that'll give you some get up and go. That wasn't very steep on that one. Going, Going up, up though. That was steep. <laughs>bikes have been a lot of fun they really have been a lot of fun i like how they integrated the uh their cargo rack now yeah i like that there's an option because in the, our first in the 2.0s i actually did ride momentarily on the back of that i yeah. really liked the 2.0s a lot i did enjoy the x premiums but I think the 3.0s are my new favorite. Yeah, the only ones that we haven't tried out are the lights, so we can't throw those into the mix. Right, I, we've never tried the light before. I've only seen them, never rode them or anything. I really, really like how these are so easy to load and unload in the Jeep when we fold them up. X Premiums, awesome cruiser bikes. If you just wanna go cruising, perfect, but they're heavy. <laughs> these yeah. are, these, these feel like they're a lot less. These are 60, Four pounds. They're about 20 pounds lighter than the X Premiums. Yeah, and this does have the, the motor in the rear hub versus right. the mid drive like the X Premiums, but these things are torquey. 
Oh, it's got plenty of get up and go, like from a stop, I mean, it goes. It'll do a wheelie if you make it. It'll do a burnout if you make it. <laughs> and he already put those to the test, and that's absolutely correct. They can and will do it. I'm 6'2 and 200 pounds, and these feel, they feel quick. The headlight, the headlight comes with it, worked really, really well. You don't need to upgrade the headlight. I rode around just a short little ride at night. Um, the bad, the seat. Yes. It's the, not good. We did our due diligence. We tested out the stock seats. The only plus is I do think that they are better than the 2.0 stock seats. For sure. But they are still no comfort package comparison. Yeah, the seats will get changed out, but the adjustability for like my height to your height is no problem with the bikes. Yeah, it's super quick and easy. All you have to do is unlatch these for the handlebars and for the seat up and down to your liking, to your height, perfect. Overall, I do recommend these bikes. I really had a lot of fun riding them. I do a lot of one-handed riding because I have the camera in one hand. So that's why I say like sometimes it doesn't feel stable, but I really did feel more stable on these bikes. Like we said previously, we've had the 2.0s, the X premiums, and now these. I guess you could say we've kind of had a little bit of experience with each of them. And this, this one's my favorite. The 3.0 is my favorite so far. Okay. I would recommend the 3.0s. They are going to be sold for what, $999? $999. Which is the same price I think that the 2.0s debuted at. So, I mean, it's still a really good price for this bike. And there will be more accessories and stuff available for these bikes. We don't know what they are at this time. If you have any further questions, contact Electric because they are the subject matter experts. Yes. <laughs> we are just YouTube liaisons or something like that. Testers, field testers. But on that note, I think we're gonna get on out of here. So until next time, see ya. See ya. <laughs>